Hello my friends, it's August 8th, 2017 and it's time for today's big story. It's a pretty big news day for Nintendo. We got a whole bunch of stuff out there, but I thought today we would focus on some Metroid Samus Returns news. As you probably saw, Nintendo is releasing a Samus Edition new 3DS XL. It comes out September 15th and it's gorgeous. I mean, you know, the new 2DS XL just came out and I was like, boy, this thing's so nice, I really like it, but... Look at this thing. How could you not want that thing? Going hand in hand with that is Metroid Samus Returns, which is the game that's coming to the 3DS. And there's been a bit of a controversy about that game when it comes to Amiibo, because we heard that things were locked behind Amiibo and fans were upset because it's content that would have been in previous games that you just unlocked by playing it. But now you gotta buy Amiibo to get this content. So Nintendo stepped in to clarify some things and it's still not gonna make people happy. So the Amiibo are tied to difficulty modes. Now I'm going to give you the most simple breakdown I can for this to show you what you need the Amiibo to open up. So standard mode, no Amiibo needed. Hard mode, no Amiibo needed. Fusion mode, you need an Amiibo. So apparently fusion mode is more difficult than hard mode and obviously has the fusion suit. Um, so you will have a hard difficulty without Amiibo, but yes, if you want that Fusion Mode, you'll have to get the Amiibo. So, uh, Nintendo wasn't too clear at first about difficulty as far as, uh, all difficulty modes being tied behind Amiibo, except for, you know, just regular difficulty. So now we know there is another difficulty mode we can get without Amiibo, but you still have to buy those Amiibo if you want to get Fusion stuff. Speaking about the Samus new 3DS XL Blackout over on Go Nintendo says, Ugh, screw you Nintendo, my poor wallet. Probably won't get this because then I'd want a clear case, screen protector, and probably wear gloves when playing. Yeah, I know that feeling. You look at these like limited edition 3DSs and you're like, man, these are really nice. I, I really wish I could afford one or I really want to get one and then you get it and you're like, I don't want to touch it. I never want to use it. I just want to put it on a shelf and stare at it. Uh, I get mixed feelings with these things. They are very nice, and it will be nice to have it as your regular uh, 3DS, but then you're like, I don't even know if I should touch it. So, uh, you know, that's always the struggle. But yeah, this Metroid one is really nice, and because, you know, fans have been hurting for Metroid stuff for quite some time now, and uh, not too happy with how Nintendo is handling the franchise. This stuff is great, so it'll be out there, and if you got the money and you feel like you can touch it without making yourself sick to your stomach, you can grab this and have a go with it. Alright, my friends, that's today's big story for August 8th, 2017. Thanks for watching and liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. I'll be back tomorrow for whatever tomorrow's big story is, and I sure hope you'll join me to check it out. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot.